Well, hello from Franklin County. We are looking at now the changeover finally occurring here late this morning uh, from some very heavy rain to uh, kind of going back to rain right now. Just a second ago, we've had some wet snowflakes mixed in. It just poured down sleet. You can see uh, as Tosh is panning around there, very low clouds. That upper low we were talking about uh, all weekend long and, and all week long so far on Facebook moving in from the west. It's yet to get here. Uh, so the rest of this morning into the uh, lunchtime hour, hey, the changeover has already occurred in many locations. Now we're going to have to wait and see exactly how much of this cold air can get in to, to completely change us over to snow, but it is trying to do it across a good part of the area already. Your comments uh, on Facebook showing me that uh, New River Valley, Fairlawn, out to Radford, Withville, it's already snowing in Christiansburg and uh, continues kind of coming down. There's also a bit of a wind factor out here as well. Accumulation very light so far. This is the porch here at the TV station. We've got a little bit of a slushy, icy, very slick um, glaze here, if you will, of mixed weather that's going on. And hey, the thing that I mentioned this morning, it's not really the duration of this event uh, that's coming in, but it's the intensity of the uh, moisture that's falling out of the clouds that is going to make it very hard for the roads to keep clear in some areas, especially along and north of the Roanoke Valley. So be advised of that if you're going to be outdoors and having to travel because once it starts uh, snowing in many locations, as we've already heard from a lot of you, it may start sticking fast before it can melt off the roadways. And even right now, it continues changing over out there. So that's the latest here in Franklin County. Keep those reports coming on Facebook. Again, the forecast is still, I think, on target. Still several inches of snow, uh, mainly wet snow possible. Along the north of Roanoke, though, watch out because it's going to be a very wet snow that could weigh down power lines and tree limbs and that could be an issue out there later on this evening should it accumulate a little more in some areas.